Antonio Conte is out as Tottenham manager after an absolute roller coaster of a time in charge. And Tottenham are looking for their new man to take over. This is where I'm throwing my hat in the ring. Tottenham, come get Mr. Rebuild. Let's use this video as my official application because today we're rebuilding Tottenham. So here is the default Tottenham side that FIFA 23 has given us. And yeah, I want to put my own spin on this side. There is a lot of work that I want to do. Entering a new era means I want to make some big changes that makes us leave the previous one. And for me, the biggest of all is getting a new shot stopper for the future here at Tottenham. Hugo Lloris being injured, being a little bit inconsistent and getting on in age. So why not revolutionize in between the sticks here? We're going in for the Portuguese shot stopper, Diogo Costa from FC Porto, but Porto, they want us to pay big money for him. I, wanna, I don't want to overpay, you know? I want to get somebody that's going to be incredible for the future, but I still want to have money to get improvements in other areas. 50 million is a lot. Going to come back and say 43 million here. They say 46.5. That tension has me worried. Are we going to... Nah, let's not risk it over an extra three. Let's submit that offer and accept it here from Porto. And there it is. The first signing in the mystery build era at Tottenham is going to be for the new Portuguese shot stopper, Diogo Costa. Very excited to see if this man can deliver the promises that he has made to us. Can he become a superstar keeper? And the first man out of the club is going to be Ben Davies, who is off to Villarreal for 11.7 million pounds. Those who have known me for a while and have been watching the content know I'm a massive Ryan Sessignon fan, given that I am a Fulham fan. I love Sessignon. I want to see him flourish and prosper, which is why we're sending him out on two-year loan. And that loan move is to Borussia Dortmund. This man deserves these flowers. Hugo Lloris, an absolute legend at Tottenham. But it is time to say goodbye. All good things must come to an end. Hugo Lloris off to Sassuolo. But fellas, I would like to say a big thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. Manscaped are the global men's lifestyle brand that are disrupting the male grooming market. And their performance package 4.0 is an absolute game changer when it comes to creating the ultimate men's grooming and hygiene bundle. I don't know about you guys, but I'm looking to protect myself down there, you know? I know the old fellas might look like punching bags but i don't want to treat them like one which is where the lawnmower 4.0 comes in handy the electric trimmer has a cutting edge ceramic blade designed to reduce some injuries down there it's even got a spotlight to make sure you don't miss anything and it's waterproof meaning you can use this in the shower it also comes with the weed whacker 2.0 nose hair and ear hair trimmer and it's not enough just to look good down there you want to smell good as well that's where the crop preserver and crop reviver come in handy. Manscaped even threw in the anti-chaving boxer briefs and a travel bag so you can take everything Manscaped on the road with you. And lads, I have a deal for you guys. If you use the code Jared at Manscaped, you'll get 20% off plus free international shipping. That's 20% off plus free shipping with promo code Jared at Manscaped.com. So make sure you click the link in the description to check that out. And a big thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. Ah, yes, I love team name 115997. That's a great club. I'm always tempted to accept this just to see where it puts him. Another player that I want to see flourish and prosper is Oliver Skip, which is why we're sending him out on loan. He's off to Napoli for the season. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to say goodbye for two seasons to Yafet Tangana. He's the latest player held out on loan. This time he's off to Sociedad. I've changed up the formation and made a massive signing to our midfield here. It is the Turkish center midfielder, Erkan Kurtsu, who is joining us from Feyenoord. We pay 45 million pounds for him. So this is how the starting 11 is looking after the opening window. There is still so much business that I want to be doing, but I'm very happy with how I've started it. Got out there done exactly what we needed to let's see if we can get some rewards in the first half of this season of course we are in with a shot of completing this rebuild in one season but we're going to take it one step at a time this is a very difficult champions league group frankfurt sporting marseille it was a very tight one in real life let's see if it duplicates that in this game Ooh, that's, that's not great that's that's terrible we're not going to win this in one season. 
Maybe this job was gonna be a little bit more difficult than I ex initially expected. Oh dear, we're coming seventh. All right, we need to turn it up in the second half of this season. Turn it up. And to add insult to injury, Lucas Mora has submitted a transfer request. He's one of my favorite players. He's like a cult hero, Lucas Mora. One of my favorite Tottenham players, but it looks like we might have to say goodbye. Gonna have a little loan move here. Two years for Saar. And I'm looking to make a big move in the back line here, which is why we have decided to sell Eric Dyer to Fiorentina. That is a bold offer. FC Porto, very bold. He's been rumored with a move to Tottenham in real life. And we're going to make that transfer happen here in FIFA. It is Kim Min Jae, the South Korean center half, linking up with his national team teammate in Hyung Min Sun and signing from Napoli for 31. His value has just gone down again. Why, do he, why does the game think when I sign a player, their value is going down the crapper? That is, oh, Kim Min Jae signs regardless. Also, I accepted some offers for Lucas Mora, but he seems like he changed his mind. He doesn't want to be leaving. We need top four football though, lads. If we don't get top four, this season's a failure. Let's see if we can do that here in the second half of the season. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Final day of the Premier League season. As you can see, we are currently tied with Chelsea. We have 74 points. If we win this, we make the top four. If we lose or draw, it is in Chelsea's hands. We're taking on Manchester United. We're at home. Come on, lads. Secure Champions League football. Oh, it's a draw. Please, Chelsea, please have lost. No! Chelsea lost. Oh, sorry, Chelsea won. Meaning we have finished fifth. We're in the Europa League next season. That hurts the soul. Liverpool with an unbelievable season, but at least from a Tottenham perspective, we finished above Arsenal. Scrolling down the Premier League table, the relegated sides are going to be Bournemouth, Palace, and Southampton. That's a pathetic season from all three of them. Chelsea have won the FA Cup. We go trophy list this season as Man City won the Carabao. An all Madrid Champions League final. Man United have got some English glory there in European football. And Eric Dyer. Oh, Eric Dyer leaves the club and immediately wins a trophy, of course. Super disappointing to miss out on top four, but there are still some silver linings. Hyung Min Sun and Harry Kane both having phenomenal seasons. Gonna be saying goodbye to a lot of players though whose loan spells and contracts are finishing. I'm probably gonna go in for some of them next year, but some of them will not be returning. But that's season one in the books. Let's crack on and get ourselves back to Champions League football. There's only one way that I wanna start off this season. And it's, it's obvious, lads. It's so obvious. That is to bring back Dejan Kulazewski. He's an absolute stud. He's an absolute baller. And I need a bit of Swede in my life. 50 million pounds. They want La Celso. You're not getting La Celso. But I'll give you 50 million pounds. Take it. Take it. Yes, Juventus are going to accept 50 million pounds. And after what has felt like an absolute eternity on loan at Tottenham, Dejan Kulazewski is now officially a Tottenham player on a permanent basis. We're getting the band back together, lads. It's another player that was here on loan last season, now joining us on a permanent. It is going to be Pedro Porro officially joining Tottenham from Sporting. We had a whole heap of players come back from loan moves last season, so I'm going to clear out some of them. Harry Winks to Brentford. I don't know why, but this transfer just makes sense. I could see this happening in real life. And another transfer Tottenham fans have been crying out for is for Ndombele. We're going to send the French midfielder permanently here to AC Milan. No surprise, they give us an A. Excellent deal, but it's mainly an A because the fans aren't protesting about it now. And there it is, lads. Finally time for us to say goodbye for a man that has done great things at Tottenham. Never forget that Champions League semi-final against Ajax. It is Lucas Mora headed to Monaco. But lads, if you are enjoying today's rebuild and you aren't already subscribed, make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below on the push towards 500,000 subscribers. I am absolutely over the moon about this signing. If we want to consider ourselves to be a top club, we're going to have to start making signings that top clubs make. Which is why we have gone out and signed Alfonso Davies from Bayern Munich 
We got him on an absolute bargain of a price as well. Valued at 75 million pounds, we pay just 77 million for him. I say just, that's more money than any of us are gonna see in our lifetimes, but 77 million pounds for Alfonso Davies. Couple of loan moves that I wanna make desperately though. I wanna make sure the future continues to look as good as the present. To be fair, the present, which is Europa League, isn't that great, but Alfie Devine is off on a two year loan to Aruka. And Dane Scarlett's gonna have another loan move. This time he's off to Star Brestois in France for two years. Surely, surely this team gets Champions League footy. We've made some quality improvements here. And I'm gonna be so disappointed if we have a stinker of a season. I want top four in the Champions League. I've won a trophy this year. I think we can do the Conference League, sorry, the Europa League. We could win something in the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup. I have big expectations for this year. Speaking of the Europa League, we've been blessed in my opinion with a very manageable group. Braga, BSC Young Boys, Lech Poznan. We need to be topping this group. We should be going undefeated. Let's make a statement. So far, so good in the first half of this season, lads. We currently sit third in the Premier League. 44 points. I've only had three losses, which is quality. But for me, there are so many teams breathing down our necks. We need to keep this level of consistency up in the second half, which is something I'm a little bit nervous about. I'm not going to lie. All going to plan, though, in the Europa League. We top the group just the one loss, and we are into the round of 32. Very interested to see who we play there. So there was no need for us to blow up the squad like we tried to last January. I just want to compliment what we've already got. And I'm going to go ahead here and add Brennan Johnson to the side as a backup winger option to Kulazewski. He can grow over the years. He's decently rated right now. And we got him for a very decent price. No, 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 no. I need to stop the simulation right there. We officially have an opportunity to win our first trophy with Tottenham. Wait until you see what this game is. It is the Europa League final, but it is a North London derby. Imagine if we break the trophy drought with a North London derby Europa League final win. Come on, Tottenham. This would be absolutely monumental. This is bragging rights personified right here. Tottenham versus Arsenal. It's in, Ar it's in Arsenal's home stadium. It's at the Emirates. Talk about a bit of a fix. Here we go. Europa League final. Who's it going to be? It is going to be Tottenham. We win our first trophy with Tottenham. We take down Arsenal. And most importantly, we're going to be playing Champions League football regardless of how we finish the Premier League season. Oh, we have had a really good second half of the season. We end up finishing just five points behind Manchester City for a Premier League title. That would have been absolutely unbelievable. Regardless though, this is a much better second season. Scrolling down the table, the relegated sides from the Premier League are going to be all three of the promoted sides in QPR, West Brom and Burnley. Man City end up winning the FA Cup. We made it to the semi-finals there. And it is the identical game in the Carabao Cup, Car Car Carabao Cup final. Did we make the semi-finals there? No, we didn't. Juventus stopped Man City though from doing the quad. I'm never going to get sick of seeing that. Newcastle United, fair play to them, taking down FC Twente to win the Conference League. Big seasons once again for Harry Kane and Hyung Min Son. 22 and 28 goals respectively, 13 and 11 assists. Very good season as well for Kulusevski, getting himself up to an 86. This is probably something we should have done a few seasons ago when we lost Lloris. We've had Foster as our backup keeper for the past two years, but now we're going to go following his retirement and sign Robert Sanchez, the Spanish shot stopper from Brighton. 15, sorry, 16 million pounds. That is a steal. And we're also going to look to make another backup signing here. I'm really trying to make sure we have depth in every position, which is why we're going to sign the French center back and right back, Benjamin Pavard, hopefully going to give us a lot more depth. We are absolutely chock-a-block with quality left backs in our squad right now. So it's funny, this guy was once the best left back we had in the team. Now he's the fourth string. It's Sergio Rajulion headed here to Nice. But I mean, he became the fourth string because obviously Alfonso Davies is one. Sessignon and Udegai are both 81 overall. 
and they're younger than Sergio. So that is, I'm really happy about that. We have an opportunity here to win two trophies in four days. Man City in the Community Shield on the Saturday to the 10th today. And then on the 14th, we have Juventus in the Super Cup. Community Shield here at Wembley against a very good Manchester City side. Let's see how we perform. We are going to lose. Oh, we're going to lose to Manchester City. Alvarez with a brace. It's going to be a pretty bad omen if we don't win this community, if we don't win this Super Cup. If we lose two finals in a week, that's going to be a really bad omen. Come on, lads. Yes, there it is. We're going to take down Juventus. Hoiberg and Kane with the goals. And we have got Tottenham, their second trophy in a long time. But it has been a very tame transfer window. That is on purpose. That is by design. Right now, I'm happy with the squad we have. But we still have about 50, 60 million pounds in the transfer budget. So if we need to, like if players like Kurtzu, Hoiberg, basically anyone that's low rated in the starting 11 needs an upgrade, we can try doing that. I'm just giving us as many options as possible to see where the season takes us. But for me, the goal this season, Premier League title, Champions League title, FA Cup, Community Shield. I want everything for Tottenham this year. And speaking of the Champions League, this is our group. Borussia Dortmund, Benfica, and Dinamo Zagreb. We cannot sleep on this group. This group is challenging. We slept on the group in season one. And look how that ended up. Bottom place in the Champions League. We need to get through this group. Let's go simulate and find out how we go in three, two, one. Bang! That is exactly what we were after. That is a statement and a half right there. I mean, you look at the top there. 4-0 against Dortmund in our opening group stage game. And the good times just kept on rolling. We are undefeated in the Champions League group stages and surely have to be one of the favorites. Round of 16. Okay, I see you. We have got Rangers. This should be a belter of a game. A very close Premier League season as well. We are only one point away from first place. 19 games played, so still over half the season remains. This is our season for the taking. I am laying down the challenge right now. We need to win this Premier League title. You know what, lads? A bit of oomph off the bench could be exactly what we need to get us off the mark here and get us over the line in the Champions League and the Premier League. And that is why I thought, let's go do this a feel-good signing as well. Christian Eriksen, 83 rated, former Tottenham. I don't know if legend's the, a fair word to say, but he's definitely a player that has made his mark at White Hart Lane. Friend of the show, if you know, you know. Christian Eriksen, welcome back to Tottenham. It's been a belter of a season so far, but it can all come crumbling down just like that. We have got Rangers away here, heading up to Glasgow. Have they signed Harry Sutar? That's hilarious. Harry Sutar in the back line for them. Todd Cantwell as well. Can we take down Rangers? Yes, we do. 3-1 in the first leg. They miss a penalty and we take the advantage. Come on, fellas. No silly business. Just get the win. No injuries. No suspensions. Just get in. Get out cleanly and get ourselves through to a quarterfinal appearance. The scoreline, yeah, we go 3-0. Harry Kane with yellow. Hopefully that doesn't lead to a suspension. It was all sunshine and all rainbows taking on Rangers, but now we're in the quarterfinals and things get a lot more difficult from here. We've got Bayern Munich. This is a massive test. Big game, lads. They've added Jota and Fernandez to their side. And Zelinski, this is a really good team. Is ours better? That is the big question. Come on, Tottenham. Come on, Tottenham. Yes! Hyung Min Son, Harry Kane, Kulazeski with a yellow. Hopefully that's not a suspension, but we have a narrow advantage here over Bayern. On the road here, traveling to the Allianz Arena, traveling to Munich. I'm not confident. I am not confident in the slightest here. I'm still really nervous. We've had great results, but I'm still nervous. Second leg away in Munich, and it is a 3-1 win. Richarlison with a brace off the bench, and Harry Kane adding to his legacy. That is a massive win. Now I feel confident, but go and watch us lose like 7-0 to some random team in the semis. Ooh, that's a massive one. If you look down the bottom there, Sporting have eliminated Manchester City, and that result has benefited us massively because we now take on Sporting in the semifinals. 
And I mean, I don't want to undermine and I don't want to sleep on Sporting, but in a competition where it could be Sporting, PSG or Man United, I think we've come out pretty well. First leg on the road here in Portugal. Marcus Edwards, a former Tottenham youth player. He got his start there. Ugarte, someone that's linked with Tottenham in real life that I considered signing at the start of the rebuild. Hector Bayerin, a former gunner. There's a lot of storylines in this sporting side that relate to Tottenham, but we're going to come away. It is Min Jae, Kim Min Jae, in the 87th minute, giving us a narrow lead. This is still anybody's game in the second leg. Again, like I said, we can't sleep on sporting. One of the storylines I forgot to touch on as well was Pedro Porro playing against his former side. There's a lot up for grabs here, though. I am... A little nervous that they might pull off an upset, an underdog result, but here we go. The second leg in Tottenham for a spot in the final is going to go our way comfortably. It's a 3-0 win, Son, Kane, and Benton Kerr. I'm praying, I'm knocking on wood, that Hoiberg is not suspended. But regardless, we're headed to a Champions League final. Yes, there's no suspension screen here. Hoiberg is still in for the final. And it is going to be an all-English Champions League final here as we are facing Manchester United. This is going to be a belter. Taking a look around the grounds at the other results. Inter Milan take down Ajax to win the Europa League. Atletico Madrid take down final to win the Conference League. We have won a Premier League title here with Man with Tottenham, I should say, not Manchester United. We have won the Premier League title. Scrolling down the table, who got relegated? It's Palace, Bournemouth, and Forest. Of course, we did lose the Community Shield at the start of the season. Man United take down Norwich to win the FA Cup. We, we did not do well. But we did win a Carabao Cup title at the start of the season. So, I mean, if you include our Super League, wherever it is, Super Cup, we've done the treble. We've done the Super Cup, the Carabao Cup, and the Premier League. Can we add a Champions League title to the trophy cabinet. Hyung Min Sun, oh my God. Hyung Min Sun has scored 39 goals this season. Harry Kane's had a belter of a year, but Hyung Min Sun, that is like a Ballon d'Or worthy season. 39 goals, 12 assists. Let's hope that he adds more to that tally here in the Champions League final. Both of these teams look absolutely phenomenal. Manchester United have added players like Frankie de Jong. We, well, we know who we've added, but it all comes down to this. A date with destiny in Portugal. This is the first game of FIFA I've actually played myself in like three or four weeks because all I've been doing is imperialization. So I'm interested to see whether I've still got skills or whether I've lost it. Benton Kerr going out wide. Kulusevski. What? Oh, we got lucky with the bounce there. See if we can turn on the run here. Harry Kane, Martinez versus Romero. Going to push up with him. Oh, he's done us with the skills. They lay it off. Nah, Fred. Oh, what a save, Costa. Off oh, eat it. That's a great little triangle. Bit of triangle passing there. Hyung Min Sun, I thought we had the ball. Go now. Oh, Kurtzu. Oh, what is that finish? Oh, you can tell I haven't played in weeks by that finish. Normally, you give me that, that opportunity and the ball's in the back of the net five minutes ago. And, you know, they're playing a bit of a press here, which we can use to our advantage. Kulusevski, nice ball there, flick it, flick it, good, is he onside, I'm gonna act like he is, but he isn't, good ball, we got lucky that Mendy was out of space, Kulusevski, I need some support man, Kulusevski, to Kane, oh what a save from Dean Henderson, we've got the corner here, stroke of half time, put this one on a platter Sonny, ball in, Davies, oh get there, don't you dare blow half time referee, come on lads, Kurtzu, go in there to Alfonso Davies. Fonzi to Kane. Oh, he's hit the post. Harry Kane's hit the post. He's fresh off the bench. We can't let him do anything here. He plays that one through, but it was a stink up. That's a stinker from me. Oh, what a tackle. I just pressed B and hoped for the best right there. That could have been really bad. Now feed it down the line. Benton Kerr, going to go early there. Come on, overlap me. Good stuff. Great stuff, in fact. Pedro Porro's on the run. Pedro Porro is going to square it. Harry Kane, let's go. That is a brilliant counter-attack. And Harry Kane, the captain himself, is going to give us the lead there after a, after a frantic few minutes. Substitution here, lads. We need some fresh legs in the midfield. Christian Eriksen. Former Man United player coming on here to help us secure this Champions League title. Oh, I've been caught out of position. Luckily, Romero was there to read it. 
Can we get them on the counter here? I don't care about pushing for a second, though. I, oh, I just want to retain possession. That's exactly what we didn't want to do. Turn it around there. Sancho feeding that one brilliantly. What a smother save from Costa. Do not let them get an equal. Yes, just clear it, Fonzie. Just clear it. Blow the whistle. There it is. It's our first Champions League title in a while. The first rebuild in the books. And Tottenham, they're going to hold on. We build a very special side, but it's going to be the goal scorer, Harry Kane, to give Tottenham their first ever Champions League title. But lads, if you enjoyed today's rebuild, make sure you click here to watch another one and click here to subscribe.